Okay, so the opening starts out with an F major 7, which is just 3rd fret D, 3rd finger, 2nd fret G, 2nd finger, 1st fret B, 1st finger, and a little E open. It's just like a regular F, but you drop the top note to the major 7th, and it becomes a nice major 7th chord. starts out actually with the B string open and E and hammers to the first finger in the middle of the strum. With that strum pattern, so he's hammering that to the first string and then the chords he he plays them any number of places on the neck all bar chords until he gets down to the C usually. I'll show you what I mean. The chords are G, which you can just use regular G, to D minor, D minor to C, to G, to F. So it's like D minor, flow in D minor, C, G, G, F. So, G, let, G, my inspiration, D minor, D minor, C, G, F. So, he could do that through bar chords up here. G, 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 D minor, D minor, C. Again, he's playing the C with the pinky flat on the D, G, and B, 5th fret, and the 1st finger on the 3rd fret A. So he's coming off the D minor, to that C, to the G, to the F. So it's like, let my inspiration, D minor, D minor, C, G, F. So it's like. Let my inspiration D minor, D minor, C, G, F. And then he hangs on the F for that will not forgive me. That will not for. And then C, open C. Till my F is told and done. So, so he's coming off of that. F. And he'll do a lick right there. Which I'll show you. So that whole chord change though up to that lick is the G to, to D minor. D minor C G F. Hang on the F. One, two, three, four, C. Again F. the lick. Okay, so and that lick, so he replaces instead of hitting just a regular C chord, he does that lick. So that, again, you're tracing a C chord essentially up to an F, so you're going on the third fret E and B, or I'm sorry, E and A, 
So it's E third, A third with your third finger, and then D second, G open, back to D second. string 3 G string 2 B string 1 and go back to G2 so 3 3 2 open 2 3 2 1 2 and then he'll just go F C E minor 7, C, F, C, E minor, with the pinky down on the 3rd fret, B, to a C. But he'll go, which is just E string, 1st fret, open E, hammering to the 1st and pulling off to the open. So it's one, open, one, open. In place of, which you can still do, but he just does this lick over the top of it. And then he hammers from the B string first to the third. And then does the same open hammer pull off on the first open first on the B. So it's this is coming in at the end of the Sometimes he'll hammer that D string second. And do the same thing on the G. So it does a little grace note, open D, hammer to the second instead of. however he wants, whether he puts that in there or not. Okay, and then he's back to the regular chord change. One more time around, the G, D minor, D minor, C, G. Now this time, come hangs on the F, to the C and go straight to the opening lick. So after from the start is the intro lick. That gets everybody's attention. Then we start singing. Let my G, G, D minor, D minor, C, G, F, F, C, F to the lick. See? 
optional lick up here, which comes into play later. Which is just the <clears throat> B string 12 or 13 with the second finger pulling off to the first finger 12th B and then G14 and then back to the B for 12, 13, 15 and then E 12. So that's why this is going on. Which later they do an optional space jam when they get to that part in the song. They just hang on it. So show you the transition there. I was going to show you kind of a little solo he plays in there over the chord changes. Like, I think this is the set kind of pattern that he follows on the solo, and then he improvises from this. So I'm just going to show you four little licks that, that sums up his whole uh, structured pattern that he improvises off of. So it's coming off of the... So he goes, first finger, G, second finger, slide it up to the 12th fret, again on the G, so we're coming off of, so he replaces the second finger with his first finger, and slides up to the 12th fret, and then, so he's basically just tracing a G chord, <clears throat> but he's on the right side of it and just has his first finger flat, essentially, just playing that scale off of that shape. So he's going... And so that's the 2, slide to 12, and then hit B, <clears throat> 12 with the first finger again. Which is just... Thirteen pulling off to twelve on the beat. Just like that space lick we were just doing. Thirteen twelve on the B to the 14G to 12, 13, 15B. So. And 
and then so that is the second part of uh, lick one which is and it's just the G to D minor change so he did, that's how he plays with the D minor so it's again pinky on 15 B first finger E 12 second finger E 13 that's tracing a little D minor chord there so he's going And then he's tracing a, a C. C triad going three five or three one five. So he's going. So that's. You're already on the B thir or E13 with the second finger. You hit it again, and then go to pinky on the E 15th fret. And then E, B, G, 12, 13, 12. With the first finger on the E12, second finger B13, first finger again on the G12. First finger, second finger, first finger. So, so it's... through the the G F chord change with that leg. Which is pinky on B fifteen first finger B twelve first finger G twelve Back to first finger, B12, and then G14. 15, 12 on the B, 12G, 12B, and then 14G. 15, 12, 12, 12, 14. So, to the the F C L C L So that lick he maneuvers through that by going he just went up. So that 
that is the 14th fret G. I will not book you, you. I will not book you, you. If you will not take the chance. So that's, again, the 14th, you hammer to it actually from the 12th, first finger on the G, 12, 14, you call that a grace note, because you don't count it with any time, because the actual note's the 14th, you're just doing a grace note ahead of it. So. That's B12, first finger, then back to 14, G, give it a little love, and then play 12. So 12, hammer to 14 on the G, 12 on the B. 14 G, give it some love, and then 12 G, and then it goes down to the D, hammers 12 to 14, again, grace note, so, Then you go 12, 12 on the D, with the second one being a grace note hammering up to the 14, and then 12 G. So it's oh. and then repeat it. part. So it's play that like all day. Instead of okay, so after you go you just go. Instead of going, you're just doing the exact same thing you were doing down here. So
you want to throw that first note in there as optional, because I mean the real lick is... And it doesn't always fit to go... So sometimes... Just to make it exactly like this lick down here, you're going 15 on the E and A with the pinky. You're just tracing a C and then you're going to trace an F and then do the F C. So, so you're doing pinky flat or on the 15th E and A and then 14 D with the third finger. 12 G, first finger, back to 14 D, third finger. So you're going fourth, fourth finger, E, fourth finger, A. note and just go 15 14 13 14 on the D G B D G and then just the 13 E second finger then 12, 13, 12 on the E, first, second, first, hammer pull. Sometimes it goes. So. on the 15B to the 12, 13, 12, for just like we're doing down here. Oh. And a lot of times they'll add that A note on the G string. Same thing up here. Where he'll go. We'll keep his uh, his uh, third finger on the fourteenth G. Just to give it a little bit more beef. So the whole solo, or the whole lick too, so the whole solo so far is solo uh, would go so we're coming off of so then we'll go B pinky first 
15, 12. And then, and then take your first finger and go E, 15, and slide up to 19. So we're going. Da -da. So we're going. And don't worry if you don't hit the exact 15th fret on the at the bottom of the slide up anywhere. Whether you start it down here or start it closer. Just sounds best when you hit 15, which is a G, going up to its third. So you're just going G to its third. It's down here, you're going to thir uh, fifth to the third. So we're anyway, we're going. Which is second finger on uh, 20 pulling off to first finger 19 on the E third finger B on uh, 22 and then go 19 20 22 on the E with the first second and third fingers so it's 20, 19, 22, 19, 20, 22. After you've gone. So. So again, it's just two pulling off to one on the E, third finger on the B, and then first, second, and third on the E. Two, pull off one, third on the B, one, two, three on the E. So I love getting that little, uh, that's the, again, the change to the to the D minor. D minor up there. And then, since he's run out of neck, he... he... show you how to do that right there. So now he's tracing this F chord to C up here and going to G to F. So F, C, G, F. So that's uh, lick three. It's so, and I'll show you how it goes. So we're going. Oh. So that is. You're gonna do the uh, D string on the uh, 17, 18, 19, second dot up there, second to third dot with the first, second, and third fingers. Just hit it once and hammer and then go up to the B string uh, 
18th fret. So Savannah's. Which is, uh, again, you're tracing now a C chord, but you're 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 already there on the uh, 18. Hit it again and go to your pinky on 20. And I like to pull off. you don't have to. The way I'm teaching it for now is you can throw that in there. But for, for now we're just going so we're going 17, 18, 19 on the D, 18 on the B, 18 again on the B, going to 20 on the B, going then to, which is a B, G, D, first finger flat on the 17th fret, which is like a C chord. So. Just one more, which is a G to F. Is a it's going five three one five and then sliding down to an F shape, which would be the fifth on the F. So that is pinky first on twenty one. Uh, I'm sorry, 19, 16, 17, 19, 16 on the G, then second finger on uh, D, 17, just a G triad, and then go back to the pinky, G, 19, hit it, and slide down to 17. So. So that whole second lick is that you're coming off of. So the whole solo so far is... the second one so it's exactly like the second leg 12 hammer to 14 on the G to 12 on the B and then 14 12 on the G and then 12 hammer 14 on the D and then then hit 12 twice more on the D and second time hammer to 14 and then go 12 12 14 on the G
then you do the lick we were showing you on the space. Which is the 12, 13, 12, 12, 13, 12 on the B, then 14G, 12, 13, 15, B, to 12E. So it's 12, 13, 12 on the B, 14G, 12, 13, 15 on the B, 12E. That's like four. So that whole solo. Okay, one more time. So that's the solo that I came up with. There's a generic solo that he improvises from. Uh, it's all over the chord changes of the verses. transition like goes and then I'll show you So we're getting to that part. <clears throat> so doing a little jam, the the transition lick then is so that's B, <clears throat> uh, 12, 13, 15 on the first, second, and fourth fingers, then 13 E, and then the 12, 13, 12 hammer pull and then it'll go one two three one two three one so that's 12 13 15 12 13 15 B back to 12 and then he'll he can either do that or he can do He'll bend it. Let's... So
So he'll like hold it, hammer to 13, I'll go 12, hammer to 13, and then do it, do it one more time. And then I'll just do what they call a trill, which is just back and forth, 12, 13, 12, 13. like triplets so and he, a lot of times he'll go and he'll actually kick on his distortion on this part see it just gains momentum so Then he'll go the same leg. The exact same leg again. So, and then he'll just go one, two, three, four, one. So he's been in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and two, and three. So, and then finally go one, two, three, four which is 12, 13, 15, 13, 12 on the B, 12, 13, 15 on the B, 13, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So he's going from the start. that second he'll go 12 13 15 and 10 12 13 15 13 12 so so we're going the whole transition and then it'll go into a C lick. Which I'm going to show you one of those. So Just a lot of times just slide into those. And then I'll show you a seed lick that I came up with. Let's see. you're taking your third finger E string 15 sliding up to 17 and then first finger flat on the or not flat on but first finger on the 15th E so you're going third finger 15th fret E sliding up to 17th E and then laying your first finger down on the 15th so
again, he's tracing on a C chord now. So he's going sixth to the fifth. So. So that's 15th E with the first finger, then 17, 16, 15 pull off on the B. So. So that's after you go, then you go third finger on the G. 17th. Which is the C note. And then just go those three notes which is the 17 G third finger 15th B first finger and pick back to the third finger 17th G so So that is third finger on the 17th B, and then going up to the E string and doing the 17, 16, 15 pull off. You just did one on the B. So again, you're going B, 17, E, 17, 16, 15, and then B, 17, 16. So it's 17, 17, 16, 15, 17, 16, and then you're going to go. First finger E 15, third finger B 17, first finger B 15, first third finger G 17. So first finger E 15, third finger B 17, first finger B 15, third finger G 17. So you're going. off you're going which is which is the uh, going to a C7 which is the third second and first finger on the B another same pull off 3 2 1 17 16 15 And then just go down to the G. So you did that 17, 16, 15 on the B, and then you're going to go 17, 16, 15 on the D. Oh, I mean on the G. 17, 16, 15, B, 17, 16, 15, G. What's up, 
the, the, the G, you pick all three. So you're going... And you can give it as much uh, vibrato as you want. three fingers instead of the first three. So then we get into Since the End is Never Told, which is just an F major 7, like the beginning. Since the end is never told, we pay the time. C9, which is uh, second finger on the A string, third fret, sec a first finger on the D string, second fret, and then laying your third finger flat on the third fret, G, B, and E. strong knees, sometimes a finger pick them. Okay, so that's a C9 with a rotating base, alternating base. And then it goes back to F major 7 again, which I like to play up here, with the first finger flat on the uh, third fret. A and D, and then a pinky flat on the fifth fret, G, B, and E. So it's coming off of E and C and E. other places but I got a separate lesson on how to do that how to how to uh, alternate that bass note the note. 
notes is just he's on E, and then which is just open two on the D, four two open two four two. I got it on the tab. So you're going. I can't figure out which is actually two open. first finger flat on the D, G, and B with an open A and E, or just open A. So he's going E7, A, then he goes to A major 7, which is open A, second D, first G, second B, open E. Just taking that second fret G and lowering it once fret. Seven inspiration to a regular D and then a D major seven, which is just laying your first finger flat 
1 to 2nd fret G, B, and E. We're open D under it. Awesome chord. So he's going E7, A, to A major 7, to a D, to a D major 7. And then it's an E. Like the song with sense and color. And then I do a little lick. So, which is just E string open, second, third, fourth, to, to the A. So it's like, inspiration. Face with mysteries dark and vast. Face with mysteries dark and vast. That's a C sharp minor. Just like an A minor played up here. So it's the first finger on the E and A fourth. Third finger on the D six. Pinky on the E six. G six. Second finger on the B fifth, and first finger on the E fourth. Just a, a C sharp minor bar chord. But then the next chord is like a G major seven. So keep the same last three fingers exact same. Move it down one fret or two frets. I'm sorry. And then put your first finger on the E string third. Just play those four strings. So it's C sharp minor. Yes. Yes. Again, 30, fourth D, fourth G, third B. It's like a E major 7. But he's got the moving. Lower. Mysteries done. And then the third chord there. And I learned this right out of the Grateful Dead anthology, that black Grateful Dead songbook, and I think it's right. Which is a D, but it's got an F sharp bass. So you're doing a second fret, first finger, E, and then open D, and then a second fret, G, and third fret, B, with your second and third fingers. So you're coming off of second, open, second. that pinky down on the E, third fret, and does like a little roll, one and two, whichever uh, E string, G, B, E. So it's... Seven for the first.
first finger flat on the second fret G, B, and E. So it's coming off with. up the So we're almost through all to that. So we, we've just gone face with me, squeezed off the back. E, A, D. To D sharp diminished. And then straight to the E. Sunrise. And then you do the answering fall, a, uh, E lick. So you're going E, D open, D second. two of them with the answering lick. You're going to do that E three times. Two of them will have the little E licks at the, after it, and the third time will be the, the one that's two, one, two, one, open, two, one, two, one. So you're going to go advanced 
So again, he'll do it one place or the other, and he can do it as simple or as advanced as he wants, with the simple one just being... show you both ways to do it. So the, the basic way is just he's on A, so he goes E open to to A open. So you open E hammer to to A open like a triplet. And then two open on the A to two on the E. So he's going open two on the E. Open on the A to two on the E. And then do the same thing, open two on the E to the open A. And then, which is the A string, two, two hammer to four with the first and third fingers. And then second fret D. And second fret G. So then you can do the same thing up here on the twelve, I'm sorry, fourteen, sixteen D, then sixteen, fourteen G to 16D. And then do the third one just like the first one. And then, so you go the uh, G string, 16th, third finger, hit it, slide up to 18. Put your second finger down on 17B and then 17E. So, 14, 16, 14, 16, 14, 16, 14, 16, slide to 18, to 17B, to uh, 17E. Okay, but again, he'll jazz that one up by going... So, to jazz up the bottom one, instead of just going, they'll go. So, it'll go open to E. So, it'll go open to on the E, open A, back to the open E. Instead of triplets, to do it as eight notes. Open to open 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 to A E. Instead of he'll go and then instead of he'll go, which is two open two open on the A and the E. And then to repeat the first one again. Instead of just going, he'll go, go back to the A fourth. So two, four on the A, two on the D, four on the A. And then second G. Which is a Same thing up here. So you're just adding those couple notes. So the first one is instead of you're gonna go. So it's 14, 16 on the D, then back to the 16th D, and then 
do 16, 14 on the G and the D. So. And then repeat the first lick. And then the fourth one, it was just instead of going, you come back to the G string and hit. So instead of hit. You can play it low or high and make it as fancy or as uh, basic as you want. Either basic or more advanced. Same thing up here, basic or more advanced. more advanced. Okay, so now we're counting stars by candlelight. So again, now we're like second time around the verses. After that, he goes count, which is again is a E7. Count A by candle E. So counting A by candle sharp minor all our tune but one is bright to a D so sliding up to five with an open E above it. So counting A by candle E All I see sharp minor but one is D to D major seven just like we did before. So counting A by candle E All I see sharp minor but one is D D major seven to E Spiral out of Venus First shiny dust, like we did before. A E, and then it's got the same C sharp minor, G major seven, D. Same E to A to D to the D sharp diminished. Now we're to a rare and different tune. just after the D sharp diminished instead of going we're going a rare and different tune which is E to D A terrapin D A terrapin D A and then it's B minor A E like Althea in shadow again terrapin station is D A terrapin Station. Last chords A D E. I know we'll be this. From there, just terrapin. So you can just do. So it's like terrapin. I can figure out which is two open two four two, which we've done before. Terrapin. So that's. Is Four, four, two, open. So you do three of them. So you do three answering and then the fourth one you just kind of hold in. 